Kings and Kushet berths. She's a handsome ship, and under her mast, a commemorative coin, a silver jubilee crown, for good luck. The modern scourge of coastside resorts all over the world, oil. The sticky waste that escaped from the wrecked tanker Eleni V has hit England's East Anglian coast and brought heartbreaking devastation to mile upon mile of holiday beaches. While international politicians argue and disagree about how to curtail this escalating pollution, local residents watch in dismay as the treacly mess oozes and seeps its way into every corner of what was once a beautiful coastline. Insurance claims so far total 27 million pounds. As successive tides ebb and flow, hundreds of tons of the black sludge are carried inshore, covering everything, threatening the prosperity of the area for years to come. Already, 35 miles of coastline are affected, as are parts of the Thames estuary. It's not only the landscape that has suffered. Marine life, fish, seals and birds have become fatally involved. The Norfolk Broads, a popular resort, if polluted, will become an environmental disaster. Local efforts to scrape the mess from the beaches are made at once, but at the cost of backbreaking effort. And there is no guarantee that when the work is done, more oil won't pour in from yet another collision in an already overcrowded seaway, or from the stranding of yet another giant tanker. Much of the damage done, though out of sight, is nonetheless grimly present. Some of the oil sinking to the seabed has killed crabs, mussels and small fish which inhabit the lower depths of the sea. It looks filthy and it is. Poison to birds, fish and humans. 